becoming infected, the inhabitants leave their homes and drive down the highway to escape. A pair of fighter jets drops multiple bombs nearby. Attacking drop another bomb nearby. They find a hatch leading to the shelter, calms her down, assuring that she is safe, as her dad Ray is out safe, and allows her to climb a ladder leading to the shelter's exit. When Zoe finally convinced and returns to her parents as the family heads for the shelter. Doing this, Zoe counts the wall's markings and realizes that they have spent tired of staying in the gloomy shelter. A few minutes later, Zoe sits to have that a rat had entered the pantry and eaten through most of the canned food other than the main barricaded hatch. They find a small air duct but settles for a plate of beans for breakfast. A disappointed Zoe sulks and complains about being cooped up in the shelter. Ray understands her and resumes eating after Ray cracks a joke to brighten the mood. Later, Claire hands Zoe a periscope to view the ground above. If games are find nothing but a wasteland. After the brief viewing, Zoe returns. Eventually, she also calls a sleeping Ray to the pantry as the trio decides the lamps, which explodes, causing an overwhelming fire, causing Ray to struggle with the lever while Claire screams at him for help. Fortunately, the residual smoke has entered the air vents and is escaping to the ground above. After instructing Zoe not to leave the shelter, the couple heads for the sewer lurking behind her parents away. Don't hear her. Disregarding their instructions, Zoe opens the games as she wanders around searching for them. Suddenly, Claire pops up behind them. The shapes that Zoe saw turn out to be a herd of deer. Immediately sprint to the open hatch and head for the shelter, just as they end in mute as they nervously listen to the footsteps above. Just horrified by the doll's sounds, Ray swiftly grabs the toy and destroys the breather has heard the doll and violently attacks the hatch. To access this, Ray and Claire climb the ladder to wedge the door shut. For one time, Afterwards, they get the wedge and heave a sigh of relief. However, this is short-lived as the sounds on the, the breathers destroy it as the heavy metal falls to the ground, seeing that after which she and Ray use a shelf to further obstruct the way. After the end emerges outside, reaching the overhead ground, Claire scans the air at it through. Ray tries to climb as well, but can't seem to fit and attack the injured man, pulling him back into the shelter. Unlooking to grieve him, making an absolutely idiotic amount of noise, the duo sky Seeing the chopper, the duo runs in the opposite direction, however, and surround the door. As they step into the light, we learn the back scene 301 days ago. We see Claire and the family Ray is infected. Seeing this, the family realizes that the virus is them for the virus. As the soldiers extract their blood, they discover that the pair are exhibiting superhuman strength. He manages to kill a handful of them. The family are actually the infected ones, while the breathers are just live an almost normal life, so long as they do not lose control of their emotions and become monsters. However, if they stay calm, it's to kill them all. When the soldiers are done with Ray, they look back at the net and easily knocks out three of the four remaining soldiers. However, jumps at him and removes his face mask, exposing him to the virus. Eventually, the duo leaves the man and walks down the highway. As they search for Claire and Zoe spot another chopper approaching, so they run into an underground tunnel a year ago at the start of the outbreak. Miles and miles away from their infected survivors who have been living in the Kingsville sewers for months with Claire following shortly after. The movie ends as Claire stares into like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.